Hello everybody, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons today on a very special day because it's my birthday, woo! So we're going to be playing for the first time today, I haven't launched the game yet um, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of announcements and stuff so I've resisted playing Animal Crossing all day until now which is huge for me because I usually play in the mornings and evenings so it's 4 p.m. <laughs> I lasted a very long time. Hello there everyone, right now in Lily Grove it's 4 p.m. on Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Today's a special day for some of our island residents. Just so happens it's Nicola and Phoebe's birthday. Happy birthday. Now for an additional announcement. As I mentioned in yesterday's broadcast, Nook's Cranny will be closed today for renovations. The grand reopening of the new and improved Nook's Cranny will be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> Exciting. So much going on. <laughs> Isabel's not had much to say to me for like a week at this point. <laughs> hey Dan, how's it going? Thanks for the birthday wishes. Thank you very much. Oh hey! Also it's rainy, which is interesting. Yo Nicola, we were waiting for you. We need you now, just follow me. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> we're going to Pierce's house, this is interesting. Pierce is one of my first two villagers along with Phoebe, so it kind of feels appropriate that we're all gathered together. Oh my god, look at them all. Look at Dizzy! Look at how cute he is! Oh, guys! Yeah, I'm surprised. This is adorable. Oh. Yeah, the... <laughs> The lung training for blowing out the candles, sure. Oh, This is amazing! They're all singing! Can I talk to them first? Oh man, I wanna... Nana's here in a cute dress! <laughs> Dizzy though, I can't get over his outfit, he looks so cool. Alright Dizzy, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Ready? Yay! Oh my gosh, this is adorable. He's decorated his house and everything. A present. Oh gosh, this will be good. <laughs> I'm in before it's a toilet of some kind. <laughs> One more present. Okay. Wow. Ah yes. <laughs> the piñata. Lovely. Let's destroy it. With with great joy. <laughs> yeah, fireworks inside. Oh god, please. Not like last time. <laughs> okay. Let me bash. Can I keep the stick? Just, 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 just asking. Is it like in my... Oh, should I open my present? Oh man, I need to like bash this piñata as well. Let's open the present. I want to see what it is. A birthday sign. Awesome. How do I bash? <laughs> piñata tactics? Is that really a thing? Bam, 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 bam. Sounds great. Okay. Oh, here we go. Do I get to button mash like crazy? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. We're gonna do like proper hardcore controller button button mashing. Okay. Here we go. This is it. Start. With all my might. Oh, so many cupcakes. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I button mashed too hard. Yeah, I was, I was fast. Birthday cupcakes. Amazing. Thank you, Pierce. I can't get over Daisy's outfit. He looks so cute. Cupcake victory. 
Oh man, this is great. <laughs> I love this so much. Thank you, Pierce, and Nana, and Dizzy as well. Oh, this is great. I got some uh, Nook Mile thing for my birthday, I assume. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Take some Nook Miles, woohoo. Happy birthday to you. Take some Nook Miles, woohoo. Get yourself something nice. Awesome. Celebratory birthday boy slash girl. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all these. Look how happy they all are. It was a surprise. It was lovely. Aww. This is so cute. Look how look at Nana's outfit as well. Oh, I mean Pierce just kind of looks like Pierce with some shades on. The Dizzy's gone all out. Aww. This is awesome. Let me do a little happy. Yay! I love the sign as well with the birds on it and the table. Oh, I'm gonna leave now. But thank you. I need to go see Phoebe now. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it next year. Oh man, that was so much fun. <laughs> that was just so happy. And into the rain outside. <laughs> happy birthday to me. It's always nice getting to celebrate with good cake and good friends. I haven't had cake today. Um, I'm living my quarantined birthday life. But I did have some good food. So it wasn't cake, however. So I have 10 birthday cupcakes, which I'm never gonna eat because that seems like a huge waste of everything. <laughs> All right, let me check my mail here. Like I said, I've not played today, so. My dear Nicola, do you remember when we first met? Of course not silly, but it was on this very day. If that's not cause to celebrate, I don't know what is. Aw, got a present and a bunch of stuff I ordered from good old Nook shopping. How's my day been? Um, nothing too much out of the ordinary, but um, I ate some good food and played some video games, so that's a good day for me. <laughs> Alright, Flick, I got a new model from him, which is excellent. Let me see what we've got in here. Mum's homemade cake. Wow, that sounds great. Oh, it's got carrots on it. <laughs> that's adorable. Let me look at this birthday sign as well. Yeah. Nice. I wonder if you get the table next year, maybe. I think before it depended on um, friendship levels and stuff, but I'm not quite sure how it works in this game. Let me open all my, my junk here. I mean, it's not junk. It's uh, carefully selected purchases for decorating my island and whatnot. But yeah, we've got a new model from Flick, which is good. So yeah, um, I do have a present already for Phoebe, so we can um, go and see her in a little bit. Let me just go and put some of this inside. You can give the cakes to islanders for more presents. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I'll be sure to go around and speak to all my animals that I can find, that's for sure. So um, yeah, we have a, a basement downstairs now, which I think is new from last time. At the moment it is filled with turnips, which I plan to get rid of shortly. But um, my basement right now is being treated as a place to store items that I don't want to lose accidentally because I've got some Gulliver items down here. I found these um, torn trousers in the recycle bin in resident services, so you can't order them again. And a bunch of stuff from like the fishing tourney and, and models and stuff like that. So let me just whack some of this in storage. My storage is now 1600. So we've maxed it out. Still need to pay off the final loan, but there's not really any rush for that at the moment. Um, Cause it doesn't really get you anything as far as I'm aware. So I'll just pay that off gradually when I'm done beautifying the island. Also, I finally found a cute DIY table However, it's in blue, which is probably my least favorite color of all of the cute furniture. But I'm still really happy that I've got this because it just looks, well, cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's head out. We'll go and see if I can find some of my villagers. Reload my mailbox. Uh-oh, what have you done? <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Do I have a letter? Oh, take some knock ticket. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's very kind of you. I love the capitalized nook ticket. Man, so generous. Thank you. Go on a fancy island tour. Alright, let's see who's in on this rainy day. Dizzy's home. We've technically seen Dizzy, but um, we'll see. Can you customize it to change the color? I don't believe you can with, with that furniture, no. Hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> you heard some folks talking? A crazy cool designer? Heck yeah, that is my dream. <laughs> Man, one day we'll try. Here, Dizzy, do not eat. <laughs> Accidentally eats all cakes. <laughs> uh, would you like a, cu a cuppy cake? I will only give these to my bestest of friends. <laughs> yeah, you had one already? You licked the icing? No! Aww. A present. A full-on proper present? Aww, Dizzy. That's so cute. What do I have now? Birthday shades? Whoa. Now, I will say... My... I got the guidebook for this game, okay? It, like, just arrived. I'll show you. It's huge. It's right here. And it's my desk. Oh. And there is a page in this book about birthdays. And it does not mention giving cakes to your friends for extra items. So, I mean, I am extremely impressed with this book. Um, but it did not mention that. So thank you for telling me because I probably wouldn't have done it. I wonder, does it have to be cupcakes or can it be anything? Because I would quite like to keep some cupcakes. Man, these shades are great though. <laughs> um, here, let me take them off for right now. Oh, thank you, Dizzy. Oh, I can't get over his outfit. He was just like <laughs> the cutest thing. Oh man. I think I've um I've maybe done a little bit more work outside since we uh were last here on, on stream. Oh hey, Lily's out. She doesn't have an umbrella because, you know, she's a frog. It's great. Yeah, it's my birthday. Thank you. You can have this. Oh. I didn't separate the stack. Um. Thank you. <laughs> oh, birthday cake? Ah, I see. The animals are giving me the hint. That's fair enough. Oh, no. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> no. Don't. Don't eat the cake. God, I'm the worst. <laughs> Um, here, Lily, you're definitely having cake. Can't believe I just scoffed a whole cake. Aw, you're welcome, Lily. What am I gonna get this time? Whew, I'm excited. Aw, Lily's like my super best friend, so I'm, I'm happy. Birthday candles, wow. Oh, we're getting so much cool stuff. So, um... Yeah, the, the town's a little bit different, actually. Um, or the island, I should say. Um, I did a little bit more landscaping. I've ended up moving the museum over here because I've kind of changed my mind with how I want the upper area of my island to look. Um, Sarano's not home. This is Sarano's pet snapping turtle called um, um, Ted. This is uh, Ted the turtle. So um, say hi to Ted. I don't think Ted's gonna give me a, a birthday present somehow. We'll see. Oh, Cookie's home. So yeah, um, Cookie, I moved out and then moved back in with an amiibo card to refresh her house. And she now has her fully furnished adorable pad. Ooh, she's making a thing. Can I have a thing? <laughs> oh no, she's getting so mad. What are you making, Cookie, that you're getting so mad at? A wooden full-length mirror. Do I have that already? I don't remember. <laughs> You're building a thing. Yes, you are. Sure, please teach me. I don't know if I know this one already. Ooh. I got a new thing. Awesome. 
Not very often I get a new thing, so... <laughs> oh dear. Let me learn this. And we'll talk to her again. But yeah, her house is super cute now. Um, very much literally, she has all this cute furniture and this wallpaper, which is great. She's got strawberries on it. It's adorable. Yeah, it's my birthday! Wow. I keep forgetting to separate the stack. <laughs> You get hungry for cake? It just so happens. Okay, grab one. <gasps> How do I keep doing this? Oh my god, I'm ruining everything. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, <laughs> I've separated the cakes. God damn it, I just ate two whole cakes to myself. Would you like a cupcake cookie? Oh, what a palava. <laughs> Le super nom nom. You're welcome. I hope I haven't screwed things up by eating cakes. That would be a shame. Alright, let's see what we got now. Oh. This is no longer a birthday thing. A pharaoh's outfit, huh. I wonder if that's like special in some way or if it's just a pharaoh's outfit. That's interesting. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, I accidentally ate the cake, okay? Look, I'm just, it's really hard to not eat the cake apparently. Whitney's not home either. I feel like I can hear an animal whistling, but I can't see them. Maybe that's just my imagination. Hello, little snail. Cute. Alright, so I think, yes, we have a special visitor here. Hey, Carlos. Sup? You were just thinking about me? That would ruin the sky the sky's mascara. Hey KK. Aw. The song would be lovely. Groovy. Alright. Sing for me, please. It's just me and Carlos, which is a bit weird, but um <laughs> KK birthday, let's go. In the rain as well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is too much. Oh, This is just so cute. It's too cute. I'm like crying. This is too- <laughs> Aww. As if it's just me and Carlos. This could have been- <laughs> This could have been so much better. That's a real nice message from Serrano as well. Oh my gosh, from Tommy, no way! Oh my heart, this is too pure. This is too pure for this world. I love it so much. Oh, 
I'm so happy I got a message from Lily. Like, that makes me so, so happy. Happy birthday. Oh, that was great. Thank you, KK. Happy candle day. Oh, thank you. Nice, and I get the song as well. Oh. Cheers, bud. Oh, that is great. Cool. So, let's go try and find some more islanders. This is obviously closed for remodeling, which is a little bit of a shame that it's closed today, but hey ho. That is the door buzzing. It's fine, we're good. Um, so I moved the campsite down here because it used to be up all the way up here in this backspace here and I decided that uh, kind of with the museum I wanted a different layout so we've moved the campsite down here I've actually only just moved this yesterday so I'm gonna have to do some decoration and stuff but we've got a nice little table nice little table and, and chairs which is good um, and then some more villagers down here. I've actually managed to now place everyone in their little square of land. <laughs> that was a jump scare, I know, I'm so sorry. We've got a really loud door buzzer thing. It scares me half the time <laughs> as well. So yeah, all of my villagers houses are now in place, which is great. So we'll go and see Marshall, another one of my absolute favorites, although He's had a terrible misfortune of being gifted a jester shirt by one of the other animals on the island and he is now wearing this jester shirt and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. But um, this, is, this is the life that he's choosing to live and I'm sure he'll change back to his other clothes soon. Hopefully. But yeah, we're definitely going to give him a, a cupcake. What have you got for me? Thank you, Marshall. I really love his house. It's very, very cute. Coveralls with arm covers. What a strange and... Marshall, why do you insist on making us look like clowns all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to stop giving these cupcakes away because I think we're now at the point where I'm no longer getting birthday specific gifts. Um, I have a question though. Did I already have the pharaoh's outfit? Because I can't remember. Well, if I did, it was only in that colour. So, that's okay. Man, Marshall, you gotta like sort yourself out though. I mean, seriously. Like, you can't go around dressed like that. It's absurd. <laughs> sort it out. <laughs> oh man. Surf Monkey, you've missed um we had a party at my house and we listened to kk slider who sang for me but we're yet to go and see phoebe wait oh no she's home so we, we've still got to go and uh, give phoebe her birthday present for me it's kind of funny that um we share the same birthday and she was one of my two starting islanders so it's kind of cute that we've ended up here together um maybe i could give her something that's not a cake and she'll still give me something in return. I'm just scouring the beach here to see if um got any shells or anything like that. Man, my beach is devoid of all shells. Here we go. It's not much, but um we'll see. Of course we got to actually give Phoebe her birthday present. That's the um the true meaning here. Oh man, Whitney! <laughs> Look at those shades! It's happening all over again! Oh my gosh, look at them both! Uh, they're singing the town tune and everything! Yeah, you know who else's birthday it is? Mine! <laughs> Just saying, Whitney. Oh yeah? Well, I've got her a present too, so we'll see if she likes my present. <laughs> we pick the way it's like. Look at her little hat. I love the hat. Yeah, I totally brought you a present. Gosh. Here we go. 
This is for you. I wrapped it in beautiful wrapping paper that matches your color scheme because I'm very thoughtful. Open it up. Yeah, what do you think? You like it, huh? Yes, nice. Well, enjoy. No problem. Oh, this is so cute. Birthday cake. <laughs> Man, this is so bizarre. Oh no, I, <laughs> I can blow her candles out for her. It's so bizarre that we have the same birthday. We get another Nook Miles thing. Untamed party animal. Nice. Gosh, we're gonna have to celebrate a lot of birthdays with Islanders. That means that I can't invite my dream team because I would never celebrate enough birthdays. So I have to leave a slot open to like strategically celebrate birthdays <laughs> if I want to get all these stamps. That's kind of weird that the maximum isn't 10, you know? Gosh, how strange. Anyways, that was nice. <laughs> Look at Whitney skipping around, it's hilarious. Oh, Man, well, I guess that's it for today, Phoebe. It was really interesting actually because I got um, a message on the notice board. Oh, you're welcome, Phoebe. I got a message on the notice board and it was really interesting because rather than give two messages, one for my birthday and one for Phoebe's, they actually combined both messages into one, which I imagine is something that not many people have seen, especially this early on in the game being out. But um, yeah, we got a joint message on the board. So that's kind of interesting that they do that. I imagine that doesn't happen too often. So yeah, that's, oh my gosh, that's both birthdays taken care of. I wonder if it means I can't speak to either of them in relation to getting stuff for me or if that's gonna happen later or, yeah, that's it's kind of odd. Let's go and see Nana. We'll give her a shell and see if, she accepts it or if she just really wants the cake. Oh, Cyrano's around here? No way. So this is the other <laughs> slight clothing faux pas. Um, Cyrano usually wears like this sort of black belt outfit. I don't know the actual name of the clothing, but someone gave him this blue jumper and now it just kind of looks like he's going about nude, which Again, it's quite amusing, but I really like him in his proper clothing, so I'm kind of bummed out that he's choosing to wear this. But he has switched back and forth a couple times. But yeah, right now he just kind of looks like he's not wearing anything, <laughs> which is hilarious. Hey, let's, let's have a chat. Oh no. You gotta be careful, Nana. You can't- you're not gonna let me pass to- <laughs> I can't speak to them now because they're both in the corner. Serana's looking at a huge pile of books. Also, I'm not getting the birthday dialogue, which is interesting, so... Ah, I can only give cupcakes. Oh man. Who am I gonna give my- wait. Who have I given cakes to? I gotta think about this very carefully. Because <laughs> I don't want to get rid of all of my cakes. So I gave one to Dizzy. I gave one to Cookie, Marshall. I'd like to give one to Whitney, um, but she's dancing around in Phoebe's house at the moment. It would be nice to give one to Serrano, but he's like also <laughs> a bit busy. Guys, can you like sort it out, please? <laughs> All right, I'll come back later. Bye. <laughs> Because they're having like a little book club or something. I can kind of imagine them being friends. That's kind of funny. Gosh, I've not had a rainy day in, in a little while actually. I don't mind this at all. So yeah, um, gosh, so much going on. Um, so I actually ended up getting these birthday shades and candles. I didn't actually have a look at these. Oh wow, look, that's adorable. Can I blow them out? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they would technically go out in the rain, but don't worry about it. It's just fine. So we have cake. I'm going to be very careful to not eat because I've already eaten two like an idiot. 
I may need to go to the toilet to get rid of my extra energy as well. Gosh. What a mess, huh? <laughs> That's great. Alright, we got some new clothing items as well. And KK Jazz, which I'm not sure if I have already. So yeah, it looks like the rain might be easing up, but um, we can have a little walk around town, see what's going on. Or the island, rather. I keep I keep referring to it as town, but I suppose it's becoming more and more of a town. We're, we're starting to get there. Let me just bury some bells here. And we'll move the tree as well so that it's not bang in front of Marshall's house. I haven't really done a huge amount of um, decorating, it's more just been landscaping. So for example, Marshall's square is like completely empty, I've not decorated yet. And Pierce's square is just kind of... I put all the exercise stuff here with intention to tidy it up later, you know. So that side of things is very much still a work in progress. However, I have made some landscaping changes, which I'll go and show you right now. Ooh, we've got pears today. Nice. Ooh, we've got all the fruit today. Excellent. Look at all these delicious fruits. So up here is my um, flower collection and hybrid zone, where I'm trying to breed lots of different colours of flowers. Um, before, actually, over here, I had a, a really tall section with a circle in the middle. And I've kind of ditched that in favour of a more natural look. So I've got these waterfalls going down the side here into a little pond lake thing and I've managed to build some suspension bridges finally. I was holding off on building bridges for quite a while but we have these now which crosses over back down to the main plaza down here. So this area is looking quite nice. Again, not decorated but um, work in progress as everything. So we've got this ramp that goes up here to this upper area and we can use these stepping stones to jump across. I just kind of, I felt like I wanted something that looked a bit more natural and I think this is quite fitting. Compared to what I had before, I think I, I like it better. So I don't think the animals can actually jump spaces or at least you don't see them jumping spaces. Um, it's kind of a weird one. I think they might be able to walk up here but you might not see them actively do the hopping. Not quite sure about that one. But it's only a tiny bit of area that they can't get to. They can get to pretty much everywhere else. So I made these two ramps down here with the waterfalls and this goes down to my beach at the back. And I actually did this before the announcement that just came out with a bunch of new content, uh, including Red, who's going to show up here on his pirate ship. So it's actually extremely convenient that I've made this area more accessible. Plus it, it, looks, it looks pretty. Again, I've not decorated it, but we're getting there for sure. You still planning on getting Lego Harry Potter on Switch? Quite possibly, yes. It's definitely not um, high on my to buy list, but I, I would like to get it. Um, I trust that it runs well and stuff. Because I, I do have... I think I got them on PS3, but never finished them. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be a cool thing to buy. But yeah, we're just, um, I've mittered the pond on this side as well. Here's the rest of my foreign fruit trees. And down here we still have cedar tree storage. So rows of, of cedar trees. <laughs> um, I've, I've spent a surprising amount actually terraforming and just not had that much time to decorate. And also the limitation is um, difficult because of the nook stop or the nook shop rather. I can only order five things a day. So if I see lots of cool little bits and pieces I want to order, you know, I can only order five. So it kind of slows down decorating. Hey, oh my goodness, hold up. Surf monkey. Thank you so much for the $36.98. That is incredibly generous of you, friend. Thank you very much. That's crazy. Being distracted by this balloon, but <laughs> gosh, you totally caught me off guard there, dude. Thank you so much. I can't, eh, how do I, 
How do I... <laughs> Slingshot. <laughs> I've just forgotten how to play the game in entirely. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. And thanks for the happy birthday wishes as well. I really appreciate it. We have a diner dining table. Oh, you brought me very good luck as well with that timing there. What colour is it? Oh, it's yellow. Nice. I've actually been collecting quite a few bits and pieces um, from the diner set. So that was... Man, you brought some serious good luck there, friend. <laughs> what did I just get? Nook Miles. Oh, it's Nook Miles Plus. I was gonna say, I, I have all the slingshot um, thingamabobs down here. You can see... No, I'm not gonna be able to find it, am I? I got, here we go, the golden slingshot, because I popped uh, 300 balloons, which is a lot of balloons. Oh man. Hey, thanks for all the, the happy birthday wishes, Caterpillar and Green Groupie, thank you. Appreciate it. Everyone's been really lovely to me today, especially over on Discord as well. Had some good chats there. So, so thank you very much, everyone. You're all very kind. You know what? I don't want this rock to be here, so uh, I'm just gonna use my, my cake energy to... Oh, that was my money rock. Well, <laughs> it's okay. I don't need more cash money. I have plenty. Yeah, I'm still kind of waiting on my rock placements being how I want them to be. Hey, Dizzy. Look at him in his raincoat and his rain hat. He is adorable. So I've got this rock down here, which I actually quite like because it's next to a uh, Cyrano's house. So this could be the, the basking rock for um, old Ted here. Ted the turtle. Hey Dizzy. You were inside and then you came out. Oh, a rainbow would be great. You wanna have a chat? Oh, oh god. <laughs> I hacked into the Lily Grove mainframe and saw you have a lot of Nook Phone Cranny Island miles. Actually, I watched a movie where the heroes hacked into mainframes. I don't get it. But it's fun to say. Oh, Dizzy. <laughs> I love this element. S elephant. Element. I can't speak. Elephant. So much. He's, um... He's a precious one. For sure. I want to protect him. Oh. <laughs> he's playing with the doghouse. <laughs> oh, that's so good. But yeah, look, I was collecting, um... I got the diner... The little tiny diner table and chair. So it's actually really cool that I've got the big yellow dining table. So, man. My furniture collection is coming along nicely. It'd be nice if I could order more stuff from the Nook stop, but hey-ho. Speaking of which, I should probably go and claim my miles for the day. See if um, Nook or Isabel has anything to say to me as well. Use a donation to get whatever game you want. Aw, oh, thanks, pal. I think, um... You know, top of my to buy list is um, is Dragon Quest XI for sure. Um, I haven't bought it yet, and I've been holding out on it, so that'll definitely be a, a Dragon Quest help, which is very much appreciated. Thank you again, pal. Um, let me see. I don't think I actually have any more fences to get. I think I've collected them all, but I've been slowly working through the decorations, just picking something up every day. Um, I have amassed quite a lot of Nook Miles, as Dizzy said, so I should probably spend some of them. Dragon Quest XI is such a good game, you'll really enjoy it. Yeah, I, I've heard great things, um, so I'm, I'm excited to play it after I've finished Dragon Quest IX uh, on, the, on the YouTubes first, and then I will allow myself <laughs> to play Dragon Quest XI. Get some Nook Miles for exchanging Nook Miles. Makes sense to me. <laughs> you have a Discord? Yes, I have a link. I think it's in my Twitch page. If not, it's on like my YouTube bio as well, I think. Um, we basically just hang out there and talk about Animal Crossing a lot. That's pretty much um, how we've been living our lives over there. It's really nice. Everyone's super friendly and chill and it's a good time. You know what I should do, actually? Oh, I don't have an amiibo card to hand. I've been slowly inviting amiibo campers um, 
because I'm I'm working on building up all of my favorite villagers, so I've been gradually just doing amiibo cards every day. But what I might do is cycle through some of my favorites that aren't going to be permanent, just so we can see them. So I could maybe, you know, have an animal in my town for a week or two and then cycle them out. I thought that might be quite fun. What do we have a ceremony for? Is this one of the bridges? Yeah, sure, we'll go out in the rain <laughs> to celebrate this bridge. That'd be cute. That'd be very cute. So now we can see everyone who's in my town. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Whitney still has her birthday party shades on. <laughs> Hooray! Again, I love that Lily doesn't have an umbrella because she's a frog. <laughs> it's so fantastic. Oh, Pretty adorable. Oh, here we go. Here comes my part. <laughs> this is always great. Let's just shout woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, these are really cute. Really, really cute. Hey, at least Marshall took off his jester outfit. He's got his jacket over it so we don't have to see him in his silly clothes. I mean, I guess he's trying to start a new trend, but I don't see it myself. The whole jester aesthetic. I don't feel like it's really my journey, you know? Oh, everyone's so happy. <laughs> Man, what an interesting day this has been. I'm just like so impressed that I, I shared my birthday with Phoebe and we have this duplicate message on the board. Like that just blows my mind. Also look, I can show you this. <laughs> I tweeted about this. I have it on my desk. I made the um, what's on screen? Look, I did a drawing of the um, the stationery. I did two actually. So I did this one and I now need to do the birthday cake one. That's my next one. But I also did um, this one with the colours changed a little bit because I didn't quite have the same colours. But look, it's the, the bulletin board. Isn't that cool? I just think these the stationery designs are like really pretty. So I'm going to do the cake one next with all the sprinkles and stuff. I think that'll come out real nice. Oh man, thank you for the song, KK. That was really nice. Oh man. Jeez, I've only found one fossil? That's absurd. <laughs> Gotta get on that. So yeah, this was the other thing. Um, on Discord the other day, I, I opened my town and had people come in to look at DIY recipes. And these, this is a leftover um, items that I have spare DIY recipes from. So uh, if anyone needs any of these items, give me a shout and you're, you're free to take them. Because I just don't have the heart to sell stuff. Because I'm like... You know, what if somebody else needs them? So, um, yeah, if you need any of this stuff, just give me a shout. Log extra long sofa. I have that already, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I can learn the silo though, because I just bought that. Also, this is all my leftover bunny today stuff, which I might actually sell, because I think pretty much everyone got all the bunny day stuff, because it turns out it was kind of stupidly easy to collect. So um, yeah, these are all my, this was like my little shop and I had everything laid out nice, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> Just trying to help out as many people as possible and, and give everyone a good chance at getting all the recipes. I actually got a really cool recipe. Um, ooh, that is nice. I got a really cool recipe. Um, let me see if I can find it. Order obtained for money flooring. <laughs> which is great. I think you actually get a better view if you look in the workbench here. So it costs 50,000 bells um, and it's it's money and it's like bills with what looks like Nook on it in a top hat. <laughs> so this is pretty great. Um, I, I still need to craft it. I haven't crafted it yet, but I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> you can actually sell DIY recipes. Yes, they sell for like 200 bells at the store. 
which is just, it seems so pointless and not worth it. And also, um, you can't store them in your house, which is the other downside. So you have to just drop them on the floor somewhere. Looks like the rain's wearing off. Look at how shiny the pathway is. Man, it's such a pretty game, huh? So yeah, I've just got all these, all these recipes on my beach until somebody um, comes along who needs them. Because I just can't bear selling them for so little, you know? Let me go and have a quick gander in my clothing shop. The amount of money that I spend in Able Sisters is quite extraordinary. <laughs> it's, it's silly. Hi, Mabel. Do you have any cool birthday clothes for me? Oh yeah, I've got this <laughs> the mannequins in this chick outfit. It's kind of funny. I've been talking to Sable a bunch too. Um, she was giving me patterns for customizing furniture and stuff. Oh my gosh, she made a pun. That's hilarious. So she's actually given me a lot of really cute little patterns to customize furniture. Um, so it's very much well worth your time talking to Sable. Ooh, a cafe uniform. That is cute. Sushi chef outfit? I need to buy that. Oh yes, I've not had the farmer overalls in my store yet because I have these. Someone gave them to me. One of my animals. But I just really love the dungaree and uh, check shirt combo. That's great. Pinafore? Interesting. The beak? <laughs> Hot dog hood. Mmm. Man, oh no, it's the bunny nose. <laughs> I've not seen this yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here later and just buy a lot of stuff. All right, I'll be giving you like 30,000 bells later. Okay, thanks, I'll see you in a bit, bye. <laughs> Ridiculous the amount of money I spend. Another thing is that Grand Quest Eleven is really long games, so it'll take you a while. How long to beat is says one two six. Yeah, that seems about right for a a big old chunky Dragon Quest game. I'm actually playing through Persona Five Royal at the moment, so <laughs> I'm well aware of um, RPGs and their length at the moment. So yeah, I need to work through Persona Five Royal first. Um, what recipes are they? You mean these ones? You can have a quick a quick look. See, I think a lot of it is. Um, spring recipes which I actually have all of them now also got a spare uh, pitfall seed recipe and I actually just got another one of these the long sofa which I think is in my house at the moment I think I fixed up my house because I took a bunch of um, stuff out to put along the beach um, so I had to redo some things do some fish and lily Man, I really like it when the rain's about to finish because it's just these really small raindrops. It's very peaceful. Man. It's such a pretty afternoon. I've got all this cool stuff now. I've still got energy, cake energy from my cake, so I might actually go and use the toilet because <laughs> I don't think I've done that on stream yet. So please bear with me, friends, while I um, take a moment. <laughs> How thick is the New Horizons guide? Too thick. I'll show you in a second here. It's like the book is absurdly heavy and they've got this incredibly high quality paper for the cover and it has like spot UV on it as well, so it's shiny. Here, hold on. Let me deal with this first. And that takes care of that. Perfect. Um, here. Oh god, I'm getting out again. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, look at this. It's 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 massive. And again, it's got this amazing paper. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It like shines in the light. I can't. I can't quite get it to shine. Um, there you can kind of see it. It's like so worth it it's amazing it's like i was just flicking through it and i was like wow this is great so um yeah if you're an animal crossing fan it's worth it for sure um it seems to be like really accurate as well 
Um, it seems like a really good book, so you want the pitfall recipe? You can come get it um, at some point, Dan. That's fine. Hey, Caterpillar. You got to get ready for work? All right. Good luck, friends. Stay safe. Um, what was I going to say there? Shoot, I've forgotten. Blah, 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 blah. Lost my train of thought completely there. Um, but yeah, the book is, is really good, so would recommend. Let me put these songs in because I think they're new. Oh my gosh, is that Tangy on the cover of, of Happy Birthday? Wait, where did it go? Look at her! Oh, that is an amazing album art. I should put that on the wall. Oh, that's so cool. Favorite Persona 5 Royal character? Oh, don't do that to me. Um, I mean, I've not finished it yet. I'm only in like the end of May. Just finished up the second palace. Um, oh, you can't do me like that. I, I can't. So in my playthrough of Persona 5, um, my girlfriend was Makoto. So there's some, some information for you. I can't give you my favorite characters. Everyone's great. Um, cool, so I think we're probably about ready to wrap things up here, just as the, the rain's kind of slowing down here. I've almost collected all the flowers. I'm still missing lilies, which is the bane of my existence at the moment, that Lily Grove does not have lilies. And I'm also missing mums as well. I've not encountered anyone who has lilies or mums, so still working on it, but um, I got roses, so we get to start working on breeding the incredibly large amount of uh, roses available. And up here, I can show you actually. Um, so previously, where the campsite was, I had a little area um, that I made, which was like a little marketplace. I think I took a screenshot of it. Yeah, so I'd remember what it looked like. So I wanna basically recreate this, but bigger up where, um, the campsite used to be. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of decorating in this area, which is quite a big area. Um, we're gonna make that all pretty and nice. I need to dig this up here. Yoink! And um, the other thing that's happening, of course, is the store is gonna be remodeled. Um, and tomorrow we do have the big Animal Crossing update, um, which is gonna add stuff for Earth Day, so we're gonna get Leaf. Um, I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow, but definitely this week we'll do another stream and check out all that stuff because they've got shrubs and, and bushes now and just a whole bunch of stuff just dropped out of nowhere. It's like, okay, so Red's coming back and we're gonna have Leaf and I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> Also, Rover was in the background of uh, that video as well, so Rover is going to be around in some capacity in the game. We shall see how that all works out. Very exciting. But um, I'll be sure to post either on Twitter or Discord my plans for this week because I'm not quite sure when the next stream will be. Hey Lily, what are you looking at? A rainbow? That's what Dizzy was saying. It'd be really good. Shaking trees? Yeah, I mean, I do that, you know, from time to time. I sh I've been known to shake some trees. Um, I actually really recently got... Da -da -da -dun, where is it? I got the stamp. I got the final Shady Shakedown stamp yesterday for getting 100 items out of trees. Of course, you can get two in your town every day. Plus... If you go to a Nook Miles Island for an island tour, you get one on those as well if there's trees. So finally hit 100, which is, is crazy. Man, I really like Lily's house. There's still bits I want to add, but I, I love that I've got her this little pond with the frog on top. Because um, you know, she's she's got to have access to water, you know? It's got to happen. And Dizzy's place looks pretty good as well. The only thing, I'm, I'm struggling to find stuff for Whitney. Like, I, I need some nice elegant furniture, but I just don't have that much in my catalogue that I feel like fits her. So I need to work on, um, on Whitney's place a little bit. 
for my tips for catching a tarantula. Um, it's actually very easy if, well, what I do, let me simulate. Okay, this teddy bear is a tarantula, okay? So like, <laughs> so you're walking around and there's a tarantula. You want to pull out your net because that will attract their attention, you see? Because if you end up walking too close to them, they just flee, they'll actually run away. So you pull your net out, right? You assume the stance, okay? And what it does is it goes on its back legs and like um, hisses at you. And if you stay still in this stance, eventually it'll put its legs back down and then you can creep forward like this much and it'll go up again and it'll hiss and eventually put its legs down and you just keep doing that closer and closer until bam, tarantula. Huh? It's pretty good. It's, it's hard to explain without seeing it, but um, they're not too bad if you just creep up to them slowly. Or you could just run up to them really fast and try and swipe them, but I find that that mostly ends in disaster, so perhaps wouldn't recommend that. Um, but you know, <laughs> it's up to you. Depends on um, on how you feel. You sit on my, my turquoise tire toys outside my house here. Yeah, we've got um, Splatfest coming up as well. Man, lots going on. Um, we'll definitely get some Splatoon streams back in the in the schedule here. I think we're finally out of Animal Crossing Mania for me, and I'd like to get back into more of a weekly schedule of actually doing, you know, Sunday's Animal Crossing, Saturday's Splatoon. Friday I'd like to devote to finishing up my Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke, which we were kind of in the middle to late stages of. Um, so we can we can start introducing, probably from next week, a more normal thing now that the, the Animal Crossing rush has been somewhat um, tamed. And aside from that, um, I can get back to making Drawing Quest 9 videos which is excellent because I've missed making those and doing my, my editings and stuff. So yeah, things things are looking up. Things are looking like they might be back to normal soon-ish. I'm still very much adoring New Horizons and playing it for hours and hours and hours every day. But I'm now at the point where, you know, we don't have a lot of events going on and we've sort of covered the basics. So it, it's now a good point to transition into just more of a casual, you know, weekly update thing where I can show you what I've been doing in terms of either landscaping or removing uh, new villagers in, which I plan to do fairly gradually. I've already got, I think, five or, or six of my final lineup, so I'm just waiting on some of my villagers to naturally want to move out and I'll replace them with ones that I like better as time goes on. And like I said before, I think I'd like to cycle out some of my close seconds for um, favourites because it's really tough to pick 10, you know, especially picking one of every personality and then two extras. Because if it was just based on my favourites, I think half of my town would be the normal personality type because they're adorable. But I can't do that because I want to have a, a nice variety of animals. But um yeah, I think, I think weekly will be good, so that'll be nice. How many videos of Dragon Quest you have recorded? Um, I think four. Um, so I'll need to like review them and edit them and remind myself where I'm at and then I can start making more um, as time goes on. I think, I think I'd probably only release two a week because um, I don't want to get into a position where I run out of content basically, so that's all stuff that needs to be finalised in my head. But for right now I think that's what we're aiming for. Um, but for today, as the as we hit 5 o'clock and the, the rain is stopping as I expected, um, we'll end things off here for today friends. Um, thank you so much for the birthday wishes again, I really appreciate it. Oh. Do, do, do. Five o'clock. <laughs> um, thank you for the birthday wishes and um, I'll see you guys soon at, at some point this week. 
we'll jump back in and we'll take a look at this big, delicious, chunky Animal Crossing update, which is very exciting. Um, but for now, I shall say goodbye. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you later. Bye.